Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy. This short little workout is gonna be an arm blast. So everything buys, tries, shoulders, and we're gonna progressively get more difficult with the weight. So you will require a variety of dumbbells in the workout today. I'm gonna start by doing 30 seconds of my lightest weight, then jumping up 30 seconds to the next weight, 30 seconds to my heaviest weight. And we're gonna repeat a bunch of by, try, and shoulder exercises. I'm not gonna do a specific warm up today. I've already warmed up, but if you'd like to follow along with one, click the card at the top of the screen and you can join me with that one. All right, are you ready to work those arms? Let's do this and move daily. Starting with the bicep exercise. I'm gonna take my eights as the lighter weight. We're gonna do pinwheel curls, shoulders back, knees soft, here we go. Palms are facing the ceiling right here. So, just a nice little swing crossing the body. Keep your shoulders back. I'm gonna grab my fives, add it onto my eights to make 13 pounds for my second round. And I did say three rounds, I might go out four if I can manage my next weight up. We'll see as we get there, okay? This is a great little ladder, making it progressively heavier. All right, you have 10 seconds in between to switch your weights. Okay. Make mine 13 pounds here in total. Hold them together and pinwheel right here. So we'll take a bicep, then a tricep, then a shoulder, and we'll cycle through a bunch of those. This would be great to add on to a cardio day or an ab day, maybe even a lower body if you just wanted to work some arms. Get a nice pump before the beach. There's no beach, it's October, Tracy. <laughs> we don't get that for a while now. All right, one more here. Let's move to the, I'm gonna go to my 15 pounds. back and work. Here we go. Curl in front. Okay, I think we'll go to a tricep next. I'm going to do skull crushers. My first one is going to be with one 15 pound dumbbell. Just the one. All right, setting that down. You can sit or stand. I might sit for this one. Up and over, elbows close to the ears. Get ready and work here. I'm gonna go to my 20 pound dumbbell next. Sometimes this one's just hard because your hands are above your head for so long and you kind of lose blood flow up there, isn't it? Last one here. All right, go up one, whatever that might be for you. I'm gonna go to my 20. And work. Your rep range might slow down slightly, that's okay. All right, and up one more, I'm gonna take my 25. Here we go. Alright, let's go 10 in there. Going to shoulders, front raises, 
Palms are up, facing the ceiling. We'll take it together. I've got my fives. Here we go. Up here. And here. Stick your chest out. Make sure that your upper shoulder blades aren't rounding here. Not swinging at the bottom, just stopping. All right, good. I'm gonna go to my eights right here. Soften the knees, stick your chest out. Tight core and up again. Pace is slowing slightly, focusing on form. You always go to single side if you need to, if the weight becomes too heavy. I'm gonna grab those other fives, add them on to make 13, so you can do 10 or 12 pounds. I might have to go single side here, we'll see. here. Elbows stay nice and close to your sides. do a bent arm overhead extension. Okay, a dumbbell in each hand and I'll start with my fives down there. Those dumbbells should come right by your ears on each side of your head. Nice flex of the tricep at the top.
Okay, one more weight amount up. I'll go back right to my 15s. I typically do that anyway, so it should be fine. Here we go. And back. Just slow your pace. We're gonna stand for lateral raises next for shoulders. Whew, triceps are getting tired here. Okay, come to standing, moving quickly, getting ready for that lateral raise. I'm gonna just stir my thighs. All right, soften the knees and pop here and here. You can have that soft bend in your elbow if you like. Just stick your chest out. side down, palms are up, just like that. One side is working, then the other side. Nice and heavy on this weight here. Just 30 seconds here. You're gonna go into a tricep dip to burn out those tries. Here. All right, tricep dips, on a box, a bench, a chair, couch, whatever you have. Straight legs is hardest. Get ready. Here we go. Last little tricep blast, flex at the top. Good, 15 seconds here. is shoulder pulses. Oh, maybe I'll go with the eights here. Up to 90 degrees. And just a little pulse right here. Keep tension right on the shoulders. Knees are soft. Whew. Feel that. <laughs> Doesn't take much, does it? Just holding that action right there. Good job, almost there. Ten more seconds. In three, two, one, and done. And you hit a 15 minute little arm workout. Join me for a little nice stretch if you can. Okay, let's just swing those out for a second here. Nothing too strenuous today, but I do feel a good pump in my arms. 
That would be, again, something great to add on if you're like, you know what, I really want to work on sculpting biceps, triceps, um, shoulders. A great way to progressively overload is by jumping up at each round. Of course, you could hit that in rep range as well, right? A pyramid that you could do that would be great is take those exercises and then go lighter weight, high reps. So maybe start with 15 reps of everything and then increase your weight and decrease your reps. So go down to 12, then 10, then eight, then six, increasing your weights along the way. Again, great little pyramid, nice little ladder, help you sculpt those arms. All right, that was great. Oh, my arms feel like they've been worked. Thanks for joining me. Hey, so if you want to pair this with something, maybe a cardio workout, click or tap the screen right here or right here for that. See ya in the next workout.